Well, hello there. Just a little story before we start today's episode. A few weeks ago, I was wearing one of my favorite shirts on the show. Talk about kicking a man while he's down. Then some maniac Brit decided he didn't like it and would send me another one. Obviously, my first question was if it was free. It was, and uh, here it is. Weird name, I have to say, flies on the visor, the inane ramblings of the motorcycle obsessed. They write extremely useful motorcycle related articles such as removing road grime. Well, you wouldn't have any road grime if you kept your bike in the garage where you're supposed to because it's nice and warm. And uh, something or other about motorcycle jeans. Silly, silly Brit motorcycles don't wear jeans. Anyway, if you enjoy reading like a caveman instead of watching videos on YouTube like you're supposed to, head on over to fliesonthevisor.com and uh, go crazy. Welcome back to Long Way Home everyone. The place we're getting your motorcycle news is easy as scoring a free t-shirt, but not by much. Today we're talking about a new 800cc adventure bike that's supposed to be announced later on this year. Its engine and bodywork was shown off earlier this week, but this episode is less about the bike itself and more about your perception of whether it is good value or not, considering who makes it. Stick around. The Kolov 800X was shown off earlier this week. Actually, just the engine starting up, which to the keen eyed amongst you looks identical to KTM's 790 platform, and the few design mock ups of what the final bike might look like, all of them pretty much copies of existing bikes. Kolov is a fairly new Chinese motorbike company which until now has been making smaller displacement bikes. They don't as of yet sell any of their bikes outside of China, but they do manufacture them for Macbor, another smallish Spanish motorcycle company. Now Macbor makes legendary bikes such as the 1250GS, oh no, sorry, the Montana XR5 500 an almost one-to-one -one clone, at least on the outside, of BMW's legendary big GS. I mean, uh, look at it. On the outside, apart from the windshield and headlight, this thing looks identical to a GS. Even BMW's cross-spoked wheels make an appearance, and even if it's just a 500cc going for around 6,700 euros, taxes included, it seems to be a good seller in Spain, which is probably why Kolov decided to make their own 800cc adventure bike and that could be their ticket for opening up to international markets. Now the claims they make for their new 800x adventure bike are actually quite good and we'll go through them now, but that's not the point of today's episode. The question I'm most interested in is if knowing that the bike is put together from parts copied from other manufacturers, assembled somewhere in China, but it ticks all the right boxes you want on an adventure bike at a price that would be considered more than fair, I mean I'm expecting this to be somewhere around seven to seven and a half thousand US dollars, would you bite the bullet and get one? The engine of the Kolov 800X is basically a copy of KTM's 790 engine. This was officially licensed to KTM's official partner in China, CF Moto, which builds some KTM bikes and is also coming out with their own adventure bike soon. Video on that in the description below. But since the engine seems to have been copied almost entirely and now makes the heart of the new Kolov 800X, means you can expect around 100 horsepower from it. Kolov has also showed three different design sketches of what the final bike would look like. All of them adventurish looking with spoked wheels, upside down forks and knobby tires. And while the first two are your generic looking adventure bike, the third one is pretty much a copy of the Tenere 700. 180 kilograms or around 400 pounds is their claimed weight. I don't know if that's dry or wet yet, but if it's wet together with the 23 liters or six gallons fuel tank, that is pretty impressive. Electronics are going to play a large part in the 800X as well. Kolov stated that a full color TFT display with full map navigation, not just turn by turn navigation will be added. 
Riding modes, cornering ABS, traction control and a quick shifter will complete the riding aids. So this will not be your bare to the bones tenere, but the question still remains. Knowing that it's made by a Chinese company, which pretty much just copies what is already out there on the market, even if it does come with impressive specs, power and rider aids, would you actually buy one, assuming the price is low enough for it to make sense? Let us know in the comments below. This is something that I'm quite curious about. Let's see what everyone says. Well, that's the show for today, everyone. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming one of our patrons to help us make more of these shows. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.